So let's look at the basics. Okay, so user testing is like one of those words that has carries a lot of weight with it, right? It's like we, we said jokingly before, agile. You know, everybody in their mind has already what agile means. So this user testing or usability testing, I'm particularly talking about here. So I'm going to define it a little bit. Is I'm not talking about statistically relevant quantitative research. Okay, there's definitely groups and universities out there who who mine mine all this data stuff like that. So I'm not going to give you like. Co correlation coefficients or anything like that. We're not talking about that level of mathematics here. That we're, we're talking about something that's hopefully simpler to digest and simpler to communicate. We're also not talking about, my apologies any marketing people here, <laughs> we're not talking about Marcus Focus Group. So sometimes people like to take this usability test and they want to run it with it and add in their own uh, things on it and try to steer it into their own, own, own uh, guide it into their own direction, their own personal motivation. This type of usability testing, we're not looking at the market for a uh, target group. We're not like basically having like a blind uh, test group that we're looking at, you know, in a room and asking very targeted to survey type of questions and then using statistics to analyze that. That that's not what we're doing here. Okay. Also, we're not making a bake off of UI choices. So usually, sometimes we start mentioning usability testing, and then I have developers and other people come. Great, I have an idea. I have this feature, and I have a couple choices. Can we use the usability test to pick the the best one? What I'm talking about is not going to be that particular process. That's one of the types of usability testing. That's not the one I'm going to be talking about here. Or that's not the suggested use of this methodology that I'm going to show you here. The second last one here is that it's not mining for new design patterns. So this is not a public survey to collect the most radical new design. So I don't know if you guys seen it, but the Google Glasses, like they picked up the first 5,000 people <laughs> looking for ideas of how to use it. You're, it's not an open-ended. Help me design my app. Okay, that's not what usability. This usability testing is talking about. And lastly, it's it's not contextual design or a voice of God interview. So I don't know if you, if any of you guys took an ethno, ethno, ethnography, ethnography uh, courses at university or that type of stuff. Contextual design. So that that's one where you know we we really immerse ourselves. You know we're the uh, Jane Goodall of the <laughs> monkeys, the gorillas in the mist kind of thing, and we're sitting there observing, not seeing anything, and we'll do it for a long periods of time, collect that kind of data. Maybe very good, can't be done cheaply, can't be done quickly, that type of thing. So it doesn't really fall in the method that we're talking about. Another one is that uh, it's not sort of these voice of God interviews. Some people have a different methodology where they sit people in a white room and they talk to them over a PA, so hence the voice of God terminology. The idea is like you don't kind of like tell them, you don't give them any hints, you don't have any of that personal interaction. That's not the methodology that we're going to be talking about today. Definitely one type of usability testing, but not the one that we're going to be talking about today. So let's talk about three. If I had, there's lots of reasons to use it, but if you boiled everything down to, there's three reasons why I think you guys should do it. It's helpful for you guys, and hopefully everybody agrees that it's sort of helpful. The first one is like, much like nobody is perfect, no product is perfect. <laughs> I think we, if you've been in the business long enough, that that, that those ru ruby colored glasses are off, and you'll know that you know even anything that you ship, very good products still have ship with bugs and still have limitations of features and so on and so forth. So you know what? Take that, you interpret it, and you say. Everything can be improved. Okay, so that's one of the reasons that you should use the testing. There's always going to be you're always going to glean something out of it that you could improve in your product. Second thing, for the type of usability testing that we're doing here, serious problems are really easy to spot. So they're encountered by most users. Okay, so that's another reason of using this method. Yeah, sure, maybe statistically not accurate. I can't say you know five times out of ten out of ninety nine percent of the population that this statistic is right. However, what we're doing is we're looking for very big problems. So for a very blunt tool like this one, this one it's, it's good enough because we're looking for those hard, those easy to find problems. We're not looking for those hard ones. Okay, so that it's a good match there. And lastly, I think this one's sort of more important than even maybe the first two is the fact that I believe being user centered makes you a better developer. I think it makes you a better tester. I think it makes you a better developer. I think it makes you a better product owner. Just in general, anytime when you're looking at the user, it just makes you better fill in the blank, right? So I think usability testing helps push that back into the foreground. Because you're doing this testing, you're there, you see the users, right? They're not abstract anymore. You can see that. You, you, you'll build a rapport with them. And you, especially when you're talking about design thinking, talking about composites and stuff like that, target user, golden threads, all these terminologies we're going to talk to you, you're going to get closer to the user. By simply implementing this, just the usability testing, even if you take nothing out of the, you don't do all the triaging and all that other stuff. I believe it'll make you a better developer, coder, or whatever, because you're going to establish that rapport and be closer to the user. How do we do this testing? 
you can't see this picture, but this is actually celebrity Steve Krug and me in a bar. And we're doing some user testing here. <laughs> we're just uh, actually uh, just kind of doing some testing on a mobile app. So I met Steve Krug. He's a great guy, great person. Uh, he actually, the first time he came to Toronto, but last year. So I, I went to his uh, course. So I'm a certified usability tester from Steve Krug. On top of that, he was nice enough to afterwards sit at the bar and we talked about and help me uh, do some usability testing on the app. So honestly, besides I'm selling his book, I don't get any commission for it. He's really just a, <laughs> he's a really great guy, honestly. Him and, him and Lou are Lou Roosevelt from the UX guys, personally wise, they're just great people. What he's kind of saying is, talking about this cheap idea, cheap he, uh, and resources and time wise, he's like, give me one morning per month. Every month, give me one morning per month. He's not asking for it. Give me a three weeks, solid, all your developers all at the same time, I'm trying to make it cheap. So that's sort of the minimal level, that uh, commitment level. Find three participants for potentially, potentially one hour sessions. You want to find three tasks. They might not get through all tasks, but let's find three tasks that they want to go through. And then let's record or potentially broadcast that and debrief in the afternoon. 